2020, what a year this has been, not just for you and me, but to the people that experienced it as a whole. This year wasn't the best, I will admit, but nevertheless, we all experienced the tragedy that occurred, and what we could do to stay safe from it. 2020 may have had some good times, but for the class of 2020, some were not able to have the graduation they always wanted, like our good friend Nathan Aldu Starr. On March of this year, a global pandemic occurred, and we were forced to stay at home. And as such, he wasn't able to have a graduation on the date that it was supposed to happen, which was on May 24th, 2020, due to the pandemic that occurred, which really upset him. Nevertheless, he's able to have a graduation, but not a traditional one, as y'all may see it. Though, unfortunately, it was only a lie. He hasn't graduated officially, as his diploma is located somewhere far, far away and he has one more challenge he'll have to face before getting that diploma he so rightfully deserves. But more on that at a later date. This year was also the year that Nathan became an uncle and was able to meet his niece for the very first time, named Josie. Unfortunately, we cannot show any pictures of her in this video as we don't have permission by the parents to do so, but maybe Maybe at a later date, we will show you who she is. One more thing we'd like to touch on is a series that we created on the channel since May of this year. A series that has gotten a lot of praise, but a lot of positive and negative traffic, known only as The Truth. The Truth was a series that focused on the truths of many people on the internet, their true natures that they'd rather keep hidden as they're too scared to reveal it, and to expose those truths to the world so that way history would never repeat itself ever again. This year, we kickstarted episode 1 with a look at Joffrey Sembersky, whom was a pedophile that dated a 16-year-old, and episode 2, parts 1 through 3, which was the longest-running saga for the series to date. We talked about a person that claimed to be the leader of the Brony fandom, but was a person that had an ego, and didn't have good intentions. This brony was none other than Rainbow Thunder Infinite. And holy damn, it was a nightmare that will stay in 2020 and shall not be spread through the cosmos or into next year. Though, the truth will be returning in 2021 for new episodes to come. Stay tuned. There are many things I'd like to say about 2020 as a whole. But unfortunately, we're running out of time. Time is precious. Spend it wisely whilst 2020 lasts. Cherish the good moments whilst you still can. And remember, even though this year may have been one of the baddest years we faced, just know that history will never forget this year. Not one day. I swear. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you on the other side.